Elon Musk has identified a number of new discoveries found by NASA's Mars rover. Hello everyone and welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, where we keep you up to date on all the latest news and gossip relating to our favorite South African billionaire, Elon Musk, and his globally renowned companies. In today's video, we will find out how Musk, through the operations of NASA, has discovered some new observations in the ongoing Mars exploration project. Ever since an early age, Elon Musk has been eagerly aspiring to one day explore the depths of space. In particular, since his days in PayPal, he envisioned to send spacecraft and development projects to Mars with the goal of eventually making the Red Planet habitable for humans. In 2001, Musk donated $100,000 to the Mars Society to promote efforts to probe and colonize the planet. Currently, he announced the start of his pet project Mars Oasis to send plants to Mars in order to develop possible vegetation as well as oxygen necessary for human life. Musk felt that the only way for humans to explore Mars was to develop the existing rocket and propulsion technology at the time. Initially, he attempted to purchase used Deniper ICBMs from Russian contractors with the aid of CIA Administrator Mike Griffin and entrepreneur Jim Cantrell. However, due to the sudden creation of the U.S. Missile Defense Agency, the previously positive Russian suppliers backed away from the deal, leaving Musk in the dark. Out of frustration, the billionaire decided to form his own rocket company naming it SpaceX shortly after in March 2002. Within a few years, the space startup quickly began work on its first major project, the Falcon 1 Small Lift Orbital Launch Vehicle. After famously failing three consecutive launches from 2006 to 2008 and verging on the edge of bankruptcy, Musk and his company finally turned their fortunes around when in late September 2008, the fourth launch was successful and two months later, NASA approved the project and provided the company with the contract funding. Since then, SpaceX has gone from stride to stride with the continuous upgradation and development of further Falcon models, the development of the Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft, the creation of the Boring Company for developing high-speed land tunnel networks, and the development of the Starlink Satellite Internet Communications Network. NASA Prominence NASA, short for National Aeronautics and Space Administration, is an independent agency of the U.S. government with the purview of space and aeronautical research and exploration. The agency was initially formed in 1958, being the successor to the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, in order to develop the U.S.'s space research and development efforts vis-à-vis -vis the buildup of the Soviet Union's own agency. The Soviet Space Program when the Soviets launched mankind's first-ever artificial satellite called the Sputnik 1 on October 4, 1957, the incumbent U.S. administration became alarmed by the sudden perceived technological advancement of the USSR relative to their own program. In response, then-President Dwight D. Eisenhower commissioned for the immediate buildup and deployment of a new agency which would pool the collective financial and intellectual capacities of the government, military, academia, and private enterprise thereby leading to an act which officially created NASA, thus beginning the space race between the two great superpowers. It wasn't until NASA carried out its Apollo space program did the power balance shift in favor of the Americans. Otherwise known as Project Apollo, the program was a series of manned space flights in low Earth orbit which ran from 1968 to 1972 and took over the previous Project Gemini and Project Mercury programs, which were the first American initiative to send men to space beginning with Alan Shepard on May 5, 1961. Shepard was in fact the second man to travel in space behind the Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, who achieved the momentous feat just a month earlier on April 12, 1961. It was the passionate national goal of President John F. Kennedy of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth, while giving an address to Congress on May 25, 1961. The very first astronauts in the Apollo program to successfully set foot on the moon, being Apollo 11, were the duo of Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, who landed their Apollo lunar module on July 20, 1969, and walked on the lunar surface, while Michael Collins remained in lunar orbit in the command and service module. All three men landed safely on Earth in the Pacific Ocean four days later. Five subsequent Apollo missions also landed astronauts on the moon, the last Apollo 17 in December 1972. In these six space flights, 12 people walked on the moon. Since then, NASA has been pioneering many national as well as international efforts in the fields of space research and exploration. Some of the major historical and upcoming projects undertaken by the agency includes the earlier mentioned Apollo moon landing missions, the Skylab space station, the space shuttle program, financial and logistical support for the International Space Station, development of the Orion spacecraft as part of the larger Artemis program to resend men back to the moon, the Space Launch System, Commercial Crew Vehicles, and the planned Lunar Gateway Space Station which would orbit the Moon. 
Similarly, SpaceX's very creation was due to the generous support and assistance of the then NASA Administrator Mike Griffin, who helped Musk secure funding for his new startup in order to research and develop emerging space technologies. In every step, NASA has acted as a big brother of sorts for Musk and his team, including for SpaceX's latest projects like Raptor engines, Starship spacecraft, and Starlink satellite communications. Insight's New Discoveries Recently, NASA's Mars InSight, short for Interior Exploration Using Seismic Investigations, GODC, and Heat Transport, Lander has uncovered a few new discoveries based on seismic data analysis. The spacecraft initially touched ground on the surface of Mars on May 5, 2018, when it landed on Elysium Planitia, a flat, smooth plane near the Martian equator. Its most important instrument includes a seismometer that measures vibrations caused by Mars quakes and crashing meteorites. The technology, called Seismic Experiment for Interior Structure, can also provide accurate 3D models of the planet's interior and measure heat signatures. The craft was a joint project developed by Lockheed Martin Space System, managed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and built by various European agencies. The total cost for the spacecraft is estimated at $830 million at the time of its launch in 2018. The first discovery is that the top 300 meters of the planet's subsurface beneath the landing site, near the Martian equator, contains little or no ice. Regarding the discovery, geophysicist Vashan Wright of Scripps Institution of Oceanography at the University of California San Diego commented, We find that Mars' crust is weak and porous. The sediments are not well cemented, and there's no ice or not much ice filling the pore spaces. These findings don't preclude that there could be grains of ice or small balls of ice that are not cementing other minerals together. The question is how likely is ice to be present in that form? The second discovery goes against the notions of a leading theory regarding the disappearance of Martian water. Previously, the general consensus was that the planet may have harbored oceans of water earlier in its 4.5 billion years of history. Michael Manga, who is chairman of Earth and Planetary Science at the University of California, Berkeley, commented, If you put water in contact with rocks, you produce a brand new set of minerals like clay, so the water is not a liquid. It's part of the mineral structure. There is some cement, but the rocks are not full of cement. So the water may also go into minerals without acting as cement. This means that the lack of cement on the subsurface shows one sign of preserving a record of life or biological activity. Cement in this nature tends to hold rocks and sediments together, protecting the substances from erosion. This means that the dearth of cemented sediments implies a water scarcity of 300 meters below InSight's landing site near the equator. As Mars' equator has below freezing average temperatures, conditions would be cold enough to freeze water if it's found there. According to Manga, as scientists were now confronted with the best data, the best observations, and our models predicted that there should still be frozen ground at that latitude with aquifers underneath. Researchers can link this data to a huge mass of knowledge about the surface, including images of Martian landforms and temperature data. The surface information shows that the subsurface might be made of sedimentary rock and lava flows. However, the team still had to hedge for unknowns about subsurface characteristics, such as mineral content and porosity. The seismic waves from Mars quakes yields clues regarding the nature of the materials they pass through. Possible cementing minerals such as calcite, kalonite, clay, and gypsum affect seismic velocities. Wright's group at Scripps Oceanography implemented rock physics computer modeling to analyze the velocities derived from the InSight data. The main goal for the continuous probing of the Martian surface is to identify the possibility of either extinct or extant life on the Red Planet. As there is no liquid water on the surface, any potential subsurface life would be shielded from radiation. Following a sample return mission, a NASA priority for the next decade is the Mars Life Explorer mission concept. The target is to drill two meters into the Martian crust at a high latitude in order to search for life where ice, rock, and the atmosphere comes together. A similar project under NASA's consideration is the proposed International Robotic Mars Ice Mapper mission, which would aid NASA to identify potential science goals for the first human missions to Mars. The team at Scripps Oceanography would help prepare young scientists to contribute to such missions. Indeed, the new discoveries will assist both NASA and Musk's SpaceX in further developing the necessary research and equipment to further probe the Red Planet with the eventual goal of sending humans to Mars and facilitating potential vegetation and habitation of Earth's nearest planet. We really hope you enjoyed our latest video. If so, give us a like and share it with your near and dear ones. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more Elon Musk news and views. 
please also check out our other videos, which we're sure you'll also enjoy watching. Hope to see you all in our next video.